What is up, beautiful people? I'm gonna take you through a mobility flow, specifically focus on shoulders and upper back. So if you spend a lot of time sitting at a desk or you have rounded shoulders, poor posture, this is going to be the thing that you want to do once, twice a week um, until you start to really see some gains and eventually you have to do a different routine because you've outgrown this one. For props, all you'll need is a yoga strap, a resistance band, a belt, something along the lines of this sort of shape and uh, two yoga blocks if you have. If you don't have yoga blocks, you could use books, but uh, I would get some yoga blocks. All right, uh, let's get started. Start on your hands and knees. We'll take some cat-cow, big breath in. Look up, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, push, press, tuck your chin to your chest. Big inhale as you arch. Big exhale, push, press. Three spinal circles in one direction for three, two, and one, and then you'll do three spinal circles in the other direction. Three, and two, and one. Beautiful. From here, let's just walk your hands around one time in a circle. We are gonna be focusing on shoulders and upper spine, but if we're, if we're here, we might as well just like work on our wrists. Great. Good, let's do pinkies to the midline. Tuck your toes, send your hips back. If this feels good and it's easily accessible in the body, think about trying to pull the heel of your hand off the mat and maybe bending your elbows if that feels okay. Big breath in. Exhale, try to bend a bit deeper for three, two, one. Excellent. Okay. From here, we're going to walk out into a puppy pose. So in puppy, hips stay right over your knees. You're trying to drop your chest to the floor. Keep your elbows as straight as humanly possible as you drop. Big breath in. And as you exhale, think about arching your chest to the floor. So some people might only be able to get their forehead down. That's fine. The goal is to really curl up and eventually your chest will be on the floor. You inhale. Exhale, can you push your chest deeper to the floor? Let's be here for two more breaths, deep inhale. Exhale, chest to floor. Last one, big breath in. Exhale, get your chest as low to the floor as you can. Can you get your eye gaze up for five, four, three, two, and one. Really, really nice, slowly come on out. We're gonna open your arms out wide into the letter T. Forehead is gonna come to the mat. Right ear down. And let's take your left foot up and over towards your right hand. As you exhale, take your right fingertips into the floor to push a little bit deeper. The goal here is to eventually get your right foot flat on the floor as well. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Make sure you're relaxing your head on the mat. Focusing on your breath. Your breath is your anchor. Inhale. Exhale. Can you push a bit deeper? Twist a bit more for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. And from here, we'll just switch sides. So extend your left arm out nice and long. Right foot comes up and over towards that left hand. I'm going to use my right fingertips to push into the mat. And again, if it feels good in the body, I'm going to try to get my left foot on the floor as well. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Big breath in. Big breath out. Last one, big breath. And deep exhale. Great, when you're ready, we'll come back to center. Push up and back. 
I'm gonna have you sit on your heels. If this feels uncomfortable, you can go ahead and grab a block or two blocks. You could sit on a block or two like this. Um, but if it's manageable, I highly encourage that you actually just like sit on your heels. You'll be working some ankle mobility while you're here as well. So take your strap or resistance band or belt and fold it in half. Let's grab nice and close onto your hands. We're gonna come up overhead. Be mindful not to arch, really pull your ribs in, feel your belly button pushing up against your spine. And then from here, we're just gonna pulse back. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep pulling your ribs in for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, we're gonna come now about shoulder width distance, same thing. Really draw your belly in, shoulders down and back away from your ears. Pulse back, four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, really straight arms, two, and one. Excellent. From here, maybe you have to open your strap a little bit wider, and we're gonna to start to do shoulder flosses. As you're flossing, think about trying to keep your armpits wrapping forward as long as possible. So we're gonna rotate around once, and great. That felt easy, bring your hands in slightly closer. Move slow as you bring your hands in closer. Inhale as you come up, exhale back. Great, let's do that another three times. Really straighten your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades to come around. Last two. And last one. Beautiful. We're gonna start to get the whole spine involved next. So you can bring your hands in slightly closer. Push, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, reach up, up, arch tailbone, arch tailbone, send head all the way back. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, come around. Inhale, lengthen up. Arch, exhale, up and around. Sometimes I will flutter my lips. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Last one, we're gonna inhale, arch. We're gonna draw the ribs in, eye gaze up. We're gonna bring the strap and our arms in direct alignment with our shoulders. And we're gonna pulse up and down here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> yep, that's good. Feels great, I'm very warm. All right, we'll go ahead and grab onto two blocks or books if you have. I want you to keep your blocks about shoulder width distance and we're gonna go into a second puppy pose. We're gonna walk your hands so your fingertips are just at the edge of your blocks. You're gonna arch your tailbone and I want you to really focus on keeping your eye gaze up. From here, inhale as you tuck just the tailbone and then exhale, big arch, get your chest all the way to the floor. <sighs> inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. As you're tucking and arching, try not to get the whole spine involved, right? Keep it isolated in the tailbone. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Two more. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Last one. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Try to pulse your chest now to the floor for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and push it as low to the floor as you can. Maybe you can touch for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Coming on out of that. Excellent. From here, let's uh, move the blocks out of the way. Try to find empty wall space. Okay, so I'm just gonna shift on up here. 
We're going to do a puppy series at this wall. Keeping about one foot distance from the wall. I'll have you bring your arms all the way up straight. And then from here, trying to look up as you draw your chest to the wall. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Great. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Two more. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, arch. Last one. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, big arch. Get your chest to the wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Next, we'll bring your elbows nice and tight. Palms to the sky. Big breath in. And as you exhale, again, try to get your chest to the wall. Very important as you're doing this, you always want to think about rotating your armpits like forward towards the wall. Uh, so you're keeping the shoulder in the socket. Big breath in, big breath out, chest to wall. And I have that similar tuck and arch that's happening. I like tuck as I inhale, I arch as I exhale to go deeper. I tuck as I inhale, arch as I exhale to go deeper. Two more, tuck and arch. Last one, tuck. And big, big arch for five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Crushing it, especially me. Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have you make your way back to your mat. We're going to warm up your uh, spine just a bit. Shoulders pull away from your ears. Think about squeezing your butt. You can bend your elbows here. Big breath in. As you exhale, maybe you can think about pulling your chest through, through, through. Pull your shoulders away from your ears for five. Maybe you send your head back for four, three, two, and one. Really nice. Coming on down from that. We'll do a, lit, a little bit of strengthening exercises just to like get your back prepped for our last and final position. So from here, I want you to keep your forehead down to the floor, arms out into a cactus shape. We're gonna start with some external rotation. So you're just gonna press your elbows into the floor, lift your hands and come down. Do your best to not like do any weird things with the wrists as you're coming. Think about keeping nice, strong blades. And down. And if you have a mirror in front of you, you can kind of see like maybe I have one coming higher than the other. Slightly uncomfortable, but just an option. We'll call that four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, and maybe we pulse back. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. So we're going to start to externally rotate from our shoulders. We're going to peel our head off the floor, squeeze our shoulder blades up, 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 up. Maybe we could bring our arms up and over and slowly come down. My mirror in my way. Classic. Okay, so let's try to do that again. Um, as you're doing this, it should feel like a lot of sensation. Eventually, you'll be able to get your body like really high off the floor. Maybe you externally rotate, squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt, up, down. Um, let's get three more together. This should feel very effortful. All right, here we go, team. Last three. Externally rotate, lift, 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 up, down, one. Externally rotate for two. Oof. Last one. Externally rotate and three. Amazing. So last thing we're going to do for this series. You'll make your way to your back. Feet on the floor, 
Back to mat, hands by your side. You'll start by squeezing your glutes to lift your hips as high as you can off the floor. Right? Big breath in. Big breath out. Think about trying to puff through the chest. Maybe you can interlace your fingers and push your arms into the mat a little bit more. Great. If that felt great, we're going to shift on into a wheel pose. This will be our final position for this shoulder opener routine. Okay. So fingertips are going to go right by your shoulders in front of your shoulders and they're going to face your shoulders. Feet are going to be about hip width apart. We're going to take a big breath in. As you exhale, I want you to push off the floor. Okay. Once you're here, the goal is to try to send your chest through to the wall. So you're really shifting the weight into your upper spine and not keeping it in your low spine, right? So think about pushing out of your hands, chest to the wall. Um, and if it feels good, you can walk your feet in, but if it doesn't just hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tucking your chin to your chest to come down slow and controlled. Alrighty. That's all I have for today. Your shoulder opener. Uh, namaste. If you did everything, great. Um, if you didn't, also great. Okay. See you in the next video.